Jeff Bennett, the Thunder from Down Under, has hopes of adding Nelson's crown to his already impressive collection. Nelson has never lost a fight as a super featherweight. Fennec has never lost any professional fight. Now he's at the brink of becoming only the fourth man in boxing history to win world titles in more than three weight divisions. He never faced somebody like me before. And this is going to be his first fight, his first time facing somebody like me. You know, and I'm going to see how, how much, how much uh, sharks he can take from me from first to 12th round. Nobody in the world fights like I do, right? We can go through a lot of fighters, and, and I mean, if you sit down and watch some tapes and, and watch them closely, nobody can cut the ring off like, like I can. And I believe that when Azuma Nelson steps in the ring with me and I make him fight, I, I know that he'll fight. He's a champion, he's a, he's a great warrior, and I know that he'll fight, but for how long is another thing. Las Vegas is where boxing stars come to shine. A successful title defense for Nelson could be cashed in for even more lucrative paydays. Yes, the road to superstardom goes through this neon valley. And Fennec has come to America to stake his claim. Coming up, the WBC Super Featherweight Championship. Champion Azuma Nelson versus challenger Jeff Fennec. It's a warm, breezy evening here in Las Vegas. Tonight, we return to the Mirage Hotel for this special edition of Showtime Championship Boxing. Welcome, everyone. I'm Steve Albert, ringside with the fight doctor, Ferdy Pacheco, for what promises to be a toe-to-toe -to -toe battle between two men who collectively have won five world titles. Let's take a look right now at the tail of the tape, see how they stack up. Nelson, as we said, turns 33 July 19th. Fennec just turned 27 at 5'7. Fennec with a two inch height advantage. Nelson 130 pounds. Fennec 128 and a half. And a two and a half inch reach advantage for Jeff Fennec. Two of the rules. These are WBC rules. 10 point must system with three scoring judges. No standing eight count. No three knockdown rule. Only the referee can stop the fight. A fighter cannot be saved by the bell except in the last round. We're set for the WBC Super Featherweight Championship. Azuma Nelson and Jeff Fennec. Let's go to ring announcer Jimmy Lennon, Jr. Well, fans, our next bout is one of our featured events as we present the WBC Super Featherweight Championship of the World. This bout is sanctioned by the World Boxing Council President Jose Suleiman and the supervisor Peter Stuckey. Introducing the officials as appointed. The judges at ringside, Miguel Donate, Dave Moretti, and Jerry Roth. And introducing the referee in charge of this bout, he will be giving instructions after the introductions, Joe Cortez. All right, fans, here we go. This is the WBC Super Featherweight Championship of the World, scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Introducing to you first on my right, the challenger fighting out of the blue corner. He's wearing black trunks with white lettering and coming all the way from Sydney, Australia. His weight this evening is already 128 and one half pounds and his fine record is 25 wins. No losses and 19 wins by way of knockout. He is currently ranked the number one super featherweight contender by the WBC. Welcome, the three-time world champion, tonight making his debut on American soil, the undefeated Jeff Fennec. And his opponent across the ring on my left, fighting out of the red corner, is the defending champion. He enters the ring wearing white trunks with red trim and hailing from Accra, Ghana. His weight is an even 130 pounds. His outstanding record includes 33 wins, only two losses, 25 wins by way of knockout. 
He is the two-time world champion tonight, defending his WBC Super Featherweight title. Welcome the fighter known as the mighty warrior, Azuma Nelson. Here's your referee in charge, Joe Cortez. Frenick. All right, gentlemen, we went over the rules in the dressing room. I want you to obey my commands at all times. I don't want any low punches. Watch your heads. Keep a clean fight. Take hands. Good luck to both of you. We're getting set for round one, scheduled for 12. A little kiss on the cheek there for Jeff Fennick from his longtime trainer, Johnny Lewis, and Joe Cortez waves them together. Here we go. Azuma Nelson in the white trunks and Jeff Fennick in the black. Nelson's style, he is a slugger, very similar to that of Julio Cesar Chavez, will wear his opponent down with an accumulation of body punches. Meanwhile, Fennick, very aggressive, likens himself to a young Roberto Duran, but unlike Duran, does not have hands of stone for it, he more like hands of bone. Well, they're fragile, but you can see what we talked about at the top of the show. Fennec will not give you motion. He will stand right in front of your challenges. He tells you, I can hit you harder than you can hit me. That's a bad equation when you're talking to Zuma Nelson, who has got power at your hands. Nelson describes himself as a combination of Ali and Frazier, skillful boxer as well as a ferocious puncher. Fennec, too, very rugged, ferocious style. His hands are actually misshapen with protruding knuckles, and he's very vulnerable. Now he's going to have a protruding jaw if he sticks it out like that. He just got hammered by Zuma Nelson. Rough stuff going on. Joe Cortez right on top of the story. Joe Cortez out of New Jersey. A big left there, glancing blow by Nelson. Nelson cannot complain that he doesn't have a target in front of him. I keep repeating, it's awesome to see a guy standing right in front of Azuma Nelson. Azuma Nelson has a great many more tricks and techniques than does Fennec, who is, fights on courage and raw power. Nelson says Fennec's a good warrior, but this time he's bitten up more than he can chew. He said he's going to vomit. Well... We will see. It's the first guy to get in that good shot that may take this fight away because right now they're throwing bombs. We're good. We're good. Come on. And it's only round one. That left snap. Fennec's head around. A man whose courage has never been questioned. Jeff Fennec comes straight ahead. He wants this. He wants a brawl. He's going to get it from Azuma Nelson. He's undefeated, 25 and 0, 19 knockouts. His last fight, January 19th, 1990. Fourth round knockout of Johnny Colvin in Australia. But he hasn't fought much in the last couple of years because of the hand difficulty. Two years is a long time to be off. A lot of ring rust, although his hands should be well healed in two years. He even took up rugby for a while before getting back to boxing. Nelson's last fight, March 16th, fourth round knockout of Daniel Mustafa in Spain. They're trading heavy, heavy body blows right now. Hard shot by Zuma Nelson. Made Fennec wave in the breeze. A right by Nelson that tagged Fennec in the head. No question about it. He felt that. He felt that all the way down to his legs, did Fennec. As you can see, precious little coaching in the corner of Fennec. Let's take a look and see if we can catch that punch. It hurt Fennec. He's following away, but look how open his head is. And those two, but look, look at his legs. Whoops. He just does a little sort of spaghetti rumba there. You just can't 
volley like that. Look at his head, wide open. Here comes the hook, here comes the other hammering hook. The cost of gambling on a body attack. Round two, this is for the WBC Super Featherweight Championship, currently owned by Azuma Nelson. His sixth title defense. Bring out, please, bring out, bring out. Azuma, the son of a tailor. He's also become an influential businessman. He's one of the largest trucking company owners in Ghana. Great combination by Nelson. Those had some zip to them. And now it's Nelson that's showing his technique in motion. He's moving around. Fennec trying to stay in front of him. This is the boxing expertise of this champion. Oh, he got hit. Nelson off balance and Fennec looking to take advantage, but could not. Uh, the technique that I speak of is a motion that Azuma has still got in the 32-year-old legs. He can't keep up with a Pernell Whitaker, who can, but he can confuse a guy like Fennec who wants you to stand still and fight. Fennec, a bubbly, charismatic former street fighter, extremely popular down under. Usually fights in front of sellout crowds of 15,000 or more in his homeland. Fennec has not learned his lesson. He went to the body again, leaving his head wildly exposed, and back came Azuma with that hook. Didn't have the same effect, but it's there. Fennec's trainer, for he, Johnny Lewis, says Fennec is the most loyal guy in the world who would die to save a friend. But he could also be the cruelest, most terrifying, most vicious person alive. Inside the ring, I hope he amended. Well, most boxers are that way. Most boxers are nice. Most of them are kind people outside and almost gentle people outside. Inside the ring, it's something different. You can't find a nicer guy than Azuma Nelson. Or Boza Edwards from Africa, either. Same kind of guy. Inside, devastating. Africa has produced its great champions. The Stick Tiger, you mentioned him. David Little, Poison Cote, Ayub Kalule, and Cornelius Boza Edwards, and Azuma Nelson in that category as well. Second round, a little bit lighter than the first round in action because Azuma has chosen to give him a little motion, make him work a little bit for those shots. Combination by Fennec, missing. Nelson looking impressive here over the course of the first two rounds. Fennec showing a little bit of that um, Aussie street fighting. He didn't wait for that break. He just went right into it. He's from Sydney's tough inner city, Marrickville, the son of four Maltese migrants. Good, good motion by uh, Azuma Nelson. He put in three or four hard shots and then sprung away before Fennec had a chance to retaliate. The wind has died down considerably. It was gusting up to 30 miles per hour during the Riddick Bow fight. But it is still quite warm. It's almost 90 degrees, I'd say. I would say that that's cool for Azuma Nelson, who just seems to be enjoying this outing and almost having his way with Fennec. You got it like that, man. Control let's defy all the any time. You fresh, you think fresh, you action fresh. Everything you fresh. Okay? This is a kind of bullshit guy. This is nothing for you. Okay? Hello, hello. okay? Wait a huh? That's the voice of Buffalo Martin, who also has a lot to do with Julio Cesar Chavez. He's got another great little jewel. Control all the and a zoom and okay? Every every second hit your fly. <laughs> Beautiful, baby. Beautiful. This is my guy, man. God damn it. In your head. It's time to put it Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Let's go. It is round three, scheduled for 12. The WBC Super Featherweight title on the line. decided to just kind of outpunch Azuma and got more in return from Azuma Nelson. Although Fenix has got to fight, that's got to be his defense. He's not a good defensive fighter. Fenix, anger at the world, tamed by his trainer Johnny Lewis, a soft-spoken songwriter who taught boxing at a neighborhood youth club. Solid left there by Nelson. the best punch by Fennec all night. That's the best one. There's another one real hard. Right, 
That one shook Azuma. And the crowd feeling that maybe Fennec had Nelson on the ropes. He didn't have him on the ropes, but he certainly wobbled him. He certainly wobbled Azuma. Azuma's in a defensive stance on the ropes, taking everything that Fennec wants to get. Fennec continues to press the attack. Big turnaround round here for Jeff Fennec of Australia. But also missing wildly. Digging into the ribs is Fennec. Now he goes upstairs. He's missing a lot, but a lot of those are landing. Watch the man. Come on, work out of there. Now back comes Azuma Nelson. And that's what you call fighting off the ropes. Four or five hammering shots from Azuma Nelson. But Azuma has been taking a pounding as Jeff Fennix is taking this round. Ferocious in close fighting in the corner just above us. Some monster punches. Uh, you don't need the rest of this of this ring because they're in about two feet square and they're not moving. Look at the action. They've been in this corner for over a minute. Again, a zoom in a little bit of trouble. continues to be the aggressor. But he's paying an awful penalty coming in. He is winning this big, but he's getting hit an awful lot. It's Fennec. And you can see it buckled uh, Azuma Nelson. He wasn't fighting with the same kind of brio after that. There it is. Look, look at what happened to his legs just then. His knees just gave way. Now watch the action. Subsequent to that, for a minute and a half, they stood there and did this. What punishment each man took. And let's see if they can pick up where they left off. It is round four. I think that cut is more on the nose than in the eye, but his whole facial tissue seems to be getting all uh, foggy. There seem to be too little cuts. There's going to be a lot of red blood in this fight. Fennec undefeated, 25 and 0, 19 knockouts. Nelson, 33 and 2 with 25 knockouts. His only losses to the late great Salvador Sanchez and Colonel Whitaker. Azuma took the first two rounds. Fennec big in the third. And Fennec looking extremely confident. Again, he's backing Nelson into the ropes. Same spot again, 30. Same spot. Blood all over the nose and under the left eye of Jeff Fennec. Again, Azuma chooses not to move off that spot. He must like it. He took a hammering there in that last third round. As if there's a magnet above us. Cortez is saying, fight your way out. But actually, what more can you ask for these two guys than to fight? They're not tying up. Again, Azuma chooses not to move away. Cortez warning, don't hit on the break. Again, Azuma stands still. Now Fedek measuring Nelson out. Come on, your hands are free. Come on, work out. 
Fennec is certainly intimidating Azuma right now. Azuma's just not the offensive fighter that he was in these first two. Maybe he's hurt worse than we think he is. He certainly is not giving him motion nor getting out to where he can have his superior skill come to run. His, this is what we want. We're in the trenches. This is what Jeff Fennec wants. Some bullying tactics here by Fennec, who has really turned this around after losing the first two rounds. Now uppercuts with the left by Nelson, but not phasing Fennec. Except the cuts are getting worse. They're under the eye and the nose. Good, solid punches by Fennec. And now comes Azuma Nelson with a hammering attack to the body, going up to the head and landing. Cortez a little bit too much into this uh, exchange. These two guys don't need anybody right now. Bennett's face beginning to fall apart. But he is inflicting punishment on the body of Azuma Nelson in the meantime. He's landing two, three to one, and impressing the judges. He's on the offense, but look at this. Oh, oh, Nelson. He turns him around. And back comes Bennett. And back comes Bennett. What a display of guts on the part of both men. What the hell, guys? When's the last time you saw that many uppercuts in a row? An incredible amount of punches yeah, being thrown. Me, me. Wow. Now, mouth guard out, Peter. You don't have to do all that. Make only a few slips. Okay. Okay. Mate, if you don't let him hit you, he's going to tie like hell, mate. Okay? Mate, the left talks his punch. Let him have a gargle first. Give him a gargle before he has a drink. Don't let him get you at all, Jeff. Don't let him get you at all. Don't drink now. Keep the fluids going now, buddy. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Take ¿Cuál es este asalto? Cuarto. It is round five, and it has lived up to its billing. Well, it's an even fight. First two rounds for Azuma Nelson and the next two for Fennec, but they were very, very close rounds because don't believe for a minute that he inflicted a lot of punishment and didn't take any. He took an awful beating from Azuma Nelson. Here's a novelty. They're in the center of the ring. Well, so long as you don't get next to this magnet that we have here in this corner. It's time for a breather. It's time for a breather. They here and here they are again. Fennec on top of Nelson. The same deal. Three straight rounds like this. Whoever thought of the term in the trenches was thinking of this when they made up that term. And in this case, perhaps in the phone booth would be appropriate. Cortez, a veteran of many fights, saying, watch the head, but he's letting them fight. He's very close to both men. Right, come on, your hands are free, guys. Come on, your hands are free. Punch out of there. Let him out. Let him out, Salim. Let him out. No rest for the weary. Cortez right on top. If they tie each other up, there's no rest. It's all punches. Thundering right hand by Jeff Fennec that got through. Oh, work out there. Watch your hands inside. Both of you guys. Come on. And the in-close fighting rages on. Oh, work out, work out. And we are now trying to see what's going to happen with the heat and the condition. Oh, Actually, it's oh, not, oh, it is not oh, very hot here. It is nice. The breeze is coming up. The shades come up. It should not be a factor. My God, watch me. Watch me. What should be a factor is the two cuts that Fennec got, and they get worse. Here we go. Again, hard hammering shots by Fennec. But Nelson keeps coming back. Oh, work out of there. Come on, your hands are free. The difference on, is that the judges perceive one as the offensive fighter and the other. Now look at look at the rhythm of Azula Nelson. And back comes Fennec oh, faster. Fennec like a machine gun. Ooh, nice hard hammering shots. But here comes Fennec back with more. Oh, punch out of there. Come on, your hands are free. Come 
He looks like he's wearing out as Zuma Nelson does spinning. There you go. Come on. That is usually Nelson's strategy to accumulate punches and then go in for the finish. It is perhaps the 32 years that are showing on Azuma Nelson because he is beginning to take a mounting. Even his arms are starting to lower. He is becoming a target. Come on, work out. Come on. Come on, hit the knock out. Get him out. seconds of round five it has been non-stop punching let's get out of this fucking corner no stay here no more agua la cabeza Sam, you look beautiful when you box. Don't stand for this man. This play is absolutely rooted, Jeff. It's just a matter. I must not get hit at all, mate, out the next couple of rounds. Come on. Feeling good? Yep. That's the lean, Peter. What's your team? Yeah, hang on. Let's have a little bit of dust on this. The Mighty Warrior getting set to do battle with the Thunder from down under again, round six. He better start thinking of some way to turn this around. I, I have him just slipping back one round. He's now 48 to 47, or three rounds to two, with Fennec ahead. Of course, that is entirely unofficial. but having no effect. No, but, it, but at least he's not getting pounded in the corner. The round has just started, Ferdy. The magnet is being revved up. Wild miss by Nelson. Nelson looks tired. He's getting sloppy and tired. And who wouldn't be after that three rounds of pounding in the corner? On the other hand, Fenich looks fresh. Fenich looks like this is what he does for a little and coming off two tough rounds, the first two rounds, he really has turned things around. The cuts, no factor up to now. Great corner work has stopped the cuts. He's not even bleeding right now. Good head movement, too, by Fennec, able to elude those punches. Cortez says no holding to Jeff Fennec. that much snap in the punches of Azuma Nelson right now. He could be laying a trap. It's not punching. He's not punching hard. And Nelson's eyes bloodshot. Past the midway mark, round six. A Action breather. Not as heated, yes. A breather round for both fighters. Oh, there he is to the ropes. Let's see if he moves on. Nelson just trying to get a second win, but Fennec trying not to let up, looking to apply the pressure. Right there, Azuma should have circled away and into the middle of, of the uh, ring. Up, he should, once he gets around the ropes, he should get away. Like right now, don't stand there, get away. Get in the middle of the ring. Ooh, nice hand by, right hand by Fennec. No effect, but nice one. Now these are now pity pat punches by Nelson, having no effect on Fennec. He's either tired or he's trying to lull him into a hard punch. But they don't, they seem sloppy. Now using pushing tactics, Nelson. But again, having no impact on the hard charging Fennec. Solid right to the head by Fennec. A flurry to the head by Jeff Fennec. Fennec again picking up the pace. And he is in great shape. Should Azuma Nelson be expending his energy, bouncing up and down, when he had been so exhausted? That was a borderline round in that. Azuma Nelson was winning all along, and then Phoenix came in with better. Let's go to the corner. Very proud of you, mate. You're in this bag, ain't you? It means so much to me. What the towel, Peter? Hey, 
the space time. He's going to put everything on the big left foot in this round, OK? We'll rinse first. Take that, John. Yep. I want to have a drink now. Keep the fluids going, mate. That's enough, Peter. Not too much, Peter. Don't force it down like that. Sorry. Feeling good, mate? Feeling good. Move like a body shot. Yeah. Move like a body shot. And roll him. And a champion in his own right, Michael Air Jordan. Everybody's idea of a hero. Leading the Chicago Bulls to the NBA title recently. Now round seven. The rest of the Zuma Nelson should now begin to, to start boxing out in the middle of the ring and away from those ropes. No particular instructions in either corner, just a little encouragement. Phoenix Porter seems to think they're in command, and they are close. It's a close fight. He could be ahead by one round or even but along about now. Phoenix three-time world champ. His first fight on American soil, trying to become only the fourth fighter to earn four different division of world titles, joining Leonard, Hearns, and Duran. Now, this, this is what they call a go-figure fight. Here's a guy that hadn't fought in two years. He looks like he just fought six weeks ago. Here's a guy that's 32 years old, and you can't tell whether 32 is too old for him right now. He, he's certainly not as fast as he was when he began. Those three rounds on the ropes have taken an awful lot out of his Zuminosa. And apparently, those two years of rest have been positive for Jeff Fennick. Right hand by Jeff Fennick that stung Azuma Nelson. Well, they said he was a warrior. He's every bit of that. Yeah, he has taken a lot of punishment. And here he goes again. Jeff Fennick on the attack. But this time, he uses the other corner. Am I glad to see him over there? Finally, I get to see what's happening. are penetrated. It's not as if he's not getting hit either. It's, it's a give and take with Fenix just landing more and harder punches. What's amazing is they're butting heads. It's amazing that there hasn't been a big cut on either man. Nelson, a stationary target at times. Fenix is landing to the head of Nelson. up and lands with a right. Those are glancing blows off the shoulder by Nelson. Azuma is just laying traps, but they just don't close. He's laying traps for hard punches that don't land. In the meantime, he's eating a lot of left. the fire seaman because you worry too much. You understand? Eh? No worry no more. Uh, dame agua. You understand, Azuma? You be the guy like she while you walk. Walk. Well, this is hard work, baby. Okay? Let's go. You you well, you go out there, you be you, this guy feel like shit. No worry for nothing in the corner. You fresh all the punches. <laughs> sections uh, warriors in their own right there's Chuck Norris and you can see behind him Bruce Willis with Demi Moore round number eight scheduled for 12 they're battling for Azuma Nelson's WBC super featherweight title and Jeff Fennick in the black front since the end of the second round has been the man in charge in the corner Azuma Nelson is told this is slipping away from you. It's still a close fight, but it's slipping away. It's got to be you first. Stay out of both corners.
Anderson trying to set up the right with the left jab, but Fennec is right there and has no problem with it. Montezuma has lost the snap in his punches. What was there through the first three or four rounds is, are now just pillows coming out. He's just not landing that hard. He punched himself out over those first two rounds, and then Fennec took over. And uh, Nelson has absorbed a lot of punishment. Again, the bullying tactics by Fennec. Azuma must stay on the run. He cannot go to the ropes. Nelson has exerted a lot of energy under this hot desert sun, and he's 32. And so far, no signs of any hand problems in terms of Jeff Fennec. Well, they are. He's certainly historical about pain because he's thrown him with everything he's got. And the cuts, I repeat, are no factors. Great job in the corner. The cut man is also Johnny Lewis. Fennec never runs out of gas or evil intention and there they are on the ropes again and it's Fennec round again. Again Azuma doesn't move away like he should. They should be telling him that in the corner. Get off those ropes. When the referee breaks you, use the referee. Get between him and the fighter. See, move away right then. He didn't. Now he's back against the ropes. What an outstanding exhibition here by Australian Jeff Fennick. <laughs> Having his way now with the champion, Azuma Nelson. <laughs> and very light on his feet, dancing around. Nice inside uppercut by Azuma. Not enough. The first solid punch landed in many rounds. Tom, ready? You put the pressure down. I'm not touching because the fight's too close, okay? The fight's too fucking close. Give me water. Open this, open this, open. You're possible to assume. Like that, I'm the time in the middle. Pop, 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 pop. Two punches, okay? You confuse the man, confuse the man. And sometimes sit down and uppercut. When you walk in the corner, don't wait for me. No, no, no way, no way. Another fighter of some note. Thomas, the hitman Hearns from Detroit, the Cobra. Comes off the impressive win over Virgil Hill. And wants the six win against Bobby Chez. Interesting man, Tommy Hearns. And round nine. Let's see if Azuma Nelson can reach back. He's got to do something better than he's done because Fennec has been in command. Even though it's close enough on points that it's still within reach. But he's got to have something impressive going. He has Azuma Nelson. Let's watch. A lot of dancing around by Nelson, expending energy. He's got to do something to keep this guy off him, to get him to trap on the ropes. He has not been able to solve Jeff Fennick. What seemed to be a tremendous advantage for Azuma that Fennick just stands in front of him turned out to be a disadvantage. Nelson really on his bicycle now, but so far not getting anywhere as a result. Fennec just waiting for his moment. Azuma Nelson's punches, as I point out to you, watch them. They're full punches. They're old man punches. They don't have that zip anymore. He's a dangerous man. He may be husbanding his energy, but right now, he is not punching with the same authority as Fennec. Fennec rated number one by the WBC, but on the threshold of taking the title away from Azuma Nelson. I just cannot count Azuma Nelson out until the 12th round. I mean, I have seen this guy come back and win so many times. Bring up, bring up, bring up. 
Joe Cortez of New Jersey, the third man in the ring. But Fennec has lived up to all the billing I've been hearing from Australia and New Zealand. All the people out here tell me this guy is great. And so far he has been today. The only Aussie ever to hold more than one world title. Hey, if they had him in Gallipoli, they might have won that. That's right. He became a world champion only his seventh pro fight when the IBF Bantamweight title back in 85. Again to the ropes. Once again, Nelson trying to battle his way out, but hitting nothing. But hitting nothing. They did a superb job with those cuts on Fennec's face. They have. We keep mentioning it, but you have to. He had such. It looked like such trouble at the beginning, and nothing, nothing, not, not a bit of luck. if you can call them that by Azuma Nelson. No energy punches. Well, Fennec has to be tired, too, but holding his own. Fennec looks like one of these wind-up dolls is going to do this all night long. A human windmill. Yeah, it's like those batteries that add the batteries. That was after the bell, and that really hurt Fennec. But it was difficult to tell. Really tough to blame Nelson. It sort of came mid Listen. We're getting beaten after the bell. We've got him, mate. And Jeff, we've got to work, mate, the next two. So this is the tenth. Don't argue with him, mate. Keep that energy all in. Don't let him bring you on the big one, mate, in tenth, okay? Right, Let's take a look at that after the bell action. is not yet ready to resume. I think they're looking for the mouthpiece. It's buried in the bucket. And Nelson says, let's get it on regardless. And Cortez is trying to hold things off. I have never seen anybody think that inept. I have never seen. They look like they're fishing for crabs in the bucket. Very bizarre. Very. He just said in Spanish, look in your pockets. The guy said, no, I don't have it. So the great disappearing mouthpiece has uh, befuddled all these people. Now they're trying to say, well, what happens now? He says he fights without it, I think. I... No, the, the, this was not lost during the round. Some quarterman took it and in his nervousness put it in his pocket, and that was Buffalo Martin. They found it, and we are ready to continue. Round 10. The case of the disappearing mouthpiece. Very unusual. Azuma got uh, some more time to uh, get ready. I think that probably helped Azuma, made him mad. He had to put the mouthpiece on with all the funky things. Oh, oh, Cortez got hit by accident by a Fennec left. Cortez can take a great punch. <laughs> We've seen Cortez get hammered before. He takes good. It's his body shots that he doesn't do well with. We have seen a little bit of everything. Here on this fight, what is left? Nelson showing some pizzazz here. Yeah, he's he's finally showing a little bit of snap. But it may be just too late. It's we're in the tenth round and Fennec is on a streak. Looks like Nelson will need a knockout. He's going downstairs and up, but Fennec. <laughs> Once again, oh, off. Oh, dirty stuff, dirty stuff by both guys, but Fennec rubbed his laces all over the face of Azuma Nelson. Things are getting tough here, folks. They, they said this was a tough street fighter, and that's what this is. Jeff Fennec is some kind of tough guy. They said he would have been a big hero had he been on television. I can tell you, he would have been a big hero here if he fights like this. 
He's been on a couple of times to the United States, but it's the first time he's fighting in North America. And of course, with a quality opponent in Zuma Nelson, who is getting handed to him. And a chance to get some big money fights if he should prevail here tonight. Back to the to the ropes. If you notice, there is where Fennec, not once has Fennec been against the ropes. Not once. It's always Azuma taking punishment against the ropes. And that is the story of this fight. Ever since the end of the second round, it has been all Change in the corner. But Fennec landing most of those blows. Back comes Nelson with a combination to the head. And Fennec is making contact. Well, he's punching 20 and 30 times before Azuma gets uncracked with one punch. I mean, that, that last series was a huge amount of punches. First time, Zenik okay, has back, felt back, the back, ropes at his back. back. Oh, oh! What a shot! I mean, you got to cover football to be able to, to describe that one. What up? Move like that. Move about a body like tackle. Right? Well, I'll tell you what, that, that could disqualify you, and if he was hurt and couldn't continue, it would be very interesting. Let's take a look at this. I just can't believe what I saw. See, he goes over, but look. Yeah, this is a rugby move, and, uh, you know, he could have claimed to be hurt there and bought a lot of time and a lot of argument. But such is the warrior nation of Azuma, he shook it off, went back, and takes the lashing, tongue lashing of his corner, who is unhappy that he is losing this fight. Round 11. This is for Nelson's WBC Super Featherweight title. And it is beginning to look more and more like Azuma Nelson just may need a knockout to win here. Fennec in total command. Fennec has been the aggressor. Fennec has been the man that lands three, four punches to one. And you talk about ring generalship, it's as if Fennec came up with the expression. to the test and anything that Nelson throws at him. No, again, again, I point out to you the soft nature of Azuma's punches. At 32, it's perhaps time to think about something else. They just aren't there. This is not the Azuma Nelson I'm used to looking at. He's not punching with authority. This could be the decline of an era. Azuma Nelson, two-time world champ, former WBC featherweight champion, currently the WBC super featherweight kid. He'll be 33 July, 19th champion for seven of the 11 years he's been pro. What an outstanding career. A decent, honorable man, but tonight he is meeting a ferocious man from down under. Relentless is the word that you have to apply to Jeff Fennec's attack. Let him clean, let him clean. been waiting two years to show off his skills in the United States. Bring it, bring it, bring it. He's got Nelson backing up again. And buckling. Backing and buckling. The consistency of Fennec is what is so impressive. It, it started early third, it hasn't let up. It, it's, it's almost as if we're in the third round. It's the same type of strength, the same type of energy, the same type of punching power. 
this has been an amazing exhibition of willpower on the part of uh, Jeff Fennick. He has imposed his will on Azuma Nelson, who's caving in. Last round, baby. I love you. Okay, I love you. This you win this round. Last round. Agua. This is the last final round. Last final round. Champ, you're possible to do everything, okay? You the master here inside, okay? Agua. Hey, baby. That's the last round. Three minutes. Okay? Agua. Let's look at this determined action by Fennec. Watch the difference in punching power. He's right on target, and even when he misses, he misses with such force. Azuma, 32 years old, looking at the end of the road as a younger man is punching himself. Here we go, they touch gloves, round 12. Only five of Fennec's opponents have heard the final bell, so that is some tribute to Azuma Nelson, but he is going to have to do something really big here and knock Fennec out. And he seems to sense that he's going with everything he's got. And Fennec comes back in frenetic fashion. Fennec seems to love that better than anything. Fennec has caution is not a word in, in Fennec's vocabulary. Somebody hasn't told him he's way ahead here. I mean, he's fighting like he's behind. Really, all he has to do is stay away, but that's not his style. Oh, this man knows only one thing. What courage and what determination and what force for Jeff Fennec. I thought it was going to be the fight of the night. So far, it has been. Fennec coming forward most of the fight. And some good head movement there by Fennec, showing fine defensive skills. Again, you can't say enough about the cut man, Johnny Lewis, doing a superb job with Jeff Fennick under the left arm. And here we are again in our corner. Sounds so romantic. <laughs> well, it's appropriate. It was this way most of the fight. Maybe it'll end this way. Break out, break out, let go, let go. Come on, let go. doesn't intimidate okay, Fennec. He doesn't want to get away. He wants to stay right there. Now he's backing Fennec up. But Fennec comes right back. Oh, it's going to take a tremendous counterpunch, one of those lucky punches to stop Fennec. And it doesn't appear that Azuma Nelson has the power to carry that out. Just about everything in this fight, anything's possible. Well, if this is the end of Azuma Nelson's career, he's had a long and honorable one, and he has been a fighting gentleman. One of a long line of warriors to come out of Africa, and he's going out in style, right in the corner and punching as hard as he can. He will still be a hero in his native Africana. And let us remind you that we are talking very cockily, but we don't have the judges' scorecard. Azuma fighting from memory, but it's now history. What a fight! Sensational action here at the Mirage in Las Vegas. The crowd appreciating the efforts, particularly of Australian Jeff Fennick. I have it 107 
17 to 111 or nine rounds to three. I think that may be a little bit too ample, but certainly you have to think that if you didn't get scored, the winner of this fight is Fennec. One never knows in Las Vegas, but even here, this has got to be a clear-cut win for Fennec, who has covered himself with glory. It figured to be an exciting fight, and it was an exciting fight. Look at this replay. Even at the beginning, Fennec has or the round. Fennec says, hey, I'm not going to take it easy. I'm coming right after you. This is going to this kind of hell is going to go on for three more minutes. And at the very end, he almost knocks out Azuma Nelson. What a warrior is this Jeff Fennec. Riveting shots by Jeff Fennec. Look, just, let's slow it. Slow your mind down and start looking. Look at that shot. It almost dropped uh, um, Azuma Nelson. It's like a non-stop punching machine, like this guy's got some kind of batteries that don't wear out. Nothing. And remember, folks, this is the last round of a savage fight. Nelson and this is the last one. I promise you it's the last one. But look at that. Now, what keeps this guy up but maybe the largest hot heart in Africa? I mean, that, that should, he should have gone. I'm sorry.